Hi there! So Realme is back with a new 32-inch TV and this time it's got something really exciting. Well, typically most 32-inch TVs come with HD ready resolution which means 1366 by 768 pixels. But this Realme TV comes with a full HD resolution 1920 by 1080 pixels. More pixels means more detail, more better color reproduction and a lot more clarity. Can't wait to check it out. So let's quickly unbox it, see what we get inside and also we'll have a closer look at it. I'll let you know if it actually makes a difference between a full HD or an HD ready panel in a 32 inch TV. So continue watching but before we begin, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you never miss an update. Also follow me on my social media handles, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. The handle name is Mr. Tech Singh. All right, let's straight jump into the unboxing. So here is the retail packaging. Right in the center, we see the Realme Smart TV branding. At the bottom are the list of its features, Chromecast, Dolby Audio, Full HD Resolution, Ultra Bright Display, Chroma Boost Engine, 24W Stereo Quad Speakers and Bezel-less Premium Design. On the side are some manufacturing details and the MRP which is $23,999. Alright, it's time to open it up. So here's everything that you get inside the box, starting with some paperwork. So you have the Realme TV user manual, then you have a guide on how to assemble the stands, then you have a quick start guide, then you have two stands, this is basic plastic stands, pretty solid though, light but, but really nice, no creaking sounds, it also has rubber at the base so it gets a good grip on the table, then you have four screws to mount the stands, you have two AAA batteries for the remote and the standard Realme TV remote. So this is a combination of Bluetooth and infrared and it's a simple nice clean design. D-pad in the center, power button, volume button, you have the back button, Android home button, option button, shortcut keys for Netflix, YouTube, Prime videos and also an input button for input sources, volume up and down and Google voice assistant. You also have the Realme branding at the bottom. It's a nice clean simplistic design and easy to use remote. Sadly, there is no wall mount bracket provided in the packaging. Let's quickly fix the stands. And there we go, suited and booted, placed on the table. The design is very interesting. Extremely slim bezels on three sides, almost bezel-less. However, the finishing could be better. Overall, the device is also quite thin. The lower bezel is thicker with a nice raw finish and it has the Realme branding. Let's have a look at the back. Nice and sturdy, really, really well built. The good thing is all the ports are on one side which makes it easy to access even if the TV is wall mounted. There is digital audio out, AV composite for old setup boxes, 3 HDMI 2.0 ports, antenna, ethernet and dual USB ports. So the HDMI 1 port supports ARC so you can connect your home theater system or soundbar that supports ARC for the best audio experience. Sadly, there is no optical output and no 3.5 headphone jack, which is really surprising. But then to compensate, there is a digital audio output and Bluetooth 5.0, so you can connect your favorite pair of wireless headphones. Alright, let's boot it up and we are greeted with the Realme TV logo. The setup process is fairly simple, pair the remote, enter your Wi-Fi and Google credentials and you should be done in a couple of minutes. Meanwhile, we set up, let's have a quick glance at the specifications. A53 Cortex Quad-Core CPU, Full HD VA panel with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels. It has 1GB RAM with 8GB internal storage. It comes with Bluetooth 5.0 support, single band 2.4GHz Wi-Fi support, 24W sound output with Dolby Audio and Android TV 9. Alright, we're ready and booted and the first thing we see is the typical Android TV interface. The app row on the top and the content row below. Really nice. So the first thing to notice is that the interface is really smooth, no lag, no stutter, very responsive. Now what I'm really liking is that since this is a full HD panel, you can see the text which is so clear, it's so sharp and that's ideally because of the higher resolution that you get on this TV. And you get the Netflix app, Prime Videos app, you get YouTube, you get the Google Play Store. Let's check out the Android version number. And here you can see it's running Android 9 Pie. I would have loved to see Android 10, but this should suffice. Going into storage and you get 4.6 GB of available space, which means the TV comes with 8 GB of internal storage. So let's have a look at the app launcher. 
the first thing is the live tv pango browser you can browse the internet media player to play your local files then there's a help app youtube google play movies youtube music the google play store the netflix app multi screen sharing and in multi screen sharing you can actually share your display from an android phone as well from an ios device which is great it will mirror via wi-fi connection so make sure your phone and tv are connected on the same wi-fi network for the mirroring then you have an app on how to cast you have ai pond which is basically just the same app launcher i don't know the point of having that but we have that and then you have prime videos and google play games all right that's great we we'll just have a quick look at the google play store so i'm sure you can notice that the colors look so much more vibrant and obviously the text is so sharp the higher resolution really really shows you can see those icons it's amazing so you get the google play store from where you can download tons of apps and games you can download the vlc player so many more apps directly from here and these are all android tv compatible apps which is great by the way there is also a separate tab for games there you go lots and lots of games that you can download from here some games might need a game pad while some will work directly with the tv remote okay it's time to check out that display what better than the youtube app so here is a video playing on youtube and you can instantly notice the clarity the detail in the images are stunning when compared to any hd ready tv more pixels also enhance the color reproduction they look so much more vibrant this is originally a 4k video but it will max out at full hd you can see on the side it's playing at 1080p The blacks are extremely deep with no noticeable light bleed around the edges. We don't have the exact nits of brightness, but when we are watching HDR content, it looked a little dim. However, with regular content, it was bright enough to provide a very good viewing experience. Also impressive contrast ratio. Check out the blacks and white in this frame. Bright whites and super deep blacks. Videos on this panel are a visual delight and all the credit goes to that higher resolution. Not only TV demo videos, in fact here's one of my own videos. You can see it looks sharp and crisp. The TV comes with 60 hertz refresh rate and videos run smoothly with no jitter or lag at all. We get a VA panel which usually suffers from poor viewing angles, but they're pretty decent on this TV. Though you do notice a slight shift when you're viewing it at an angle, but mostly negligible. Full HD resolution on the 32-inch TV is truly a remarkable experience. Here's a set-up box demo, starting with HD channels, and I have to say this: HD channels never looked so good. It almost feels like HD. Those who have old set-up boxes that watch HD content can also enjoy their content. Here are HD channels. I actually don't need to say anything. You can see they look just perfect. Also played some local files from the pen drive. These are all full HD videos and they played on the default media player with ease. Also tried playing 4K videos, but sadly they weren't supported. Also briefly tested the Netflix app. The app experience is such a breeze. Video streams smoothly without any lag or buffering. You can change the audio language as well as change the subtitles very easily. Since this is a full HD display, I actually even connected it to my laptop. The experience was surprisingly good. You can even surf websites. Scrolling was super smooth. You can do your editing and even watch your favorite movies. It will work great, but it's not designed as a PC monitor. So keep that in mind. But overall a very nice experience. Rest we also get all the features of an Android TV. Built-in Chromecast to cast content on your TV from your phone and control it as well. Also Google Voice Assistant on your remote so you can ask it for the weather, ask it for general trivia questions or even just ask it to open apps and it worked pretty well. Coming to the audio, the TV features a total of two sets of four speakers with a total output of 24 watts and it also comes with Dolby support. Here's a quick demo. audio is really good for a 32 inch tv firstly they get really loud but don't expect thumping bass but these are still going to be good sharp and dynamic speakers for your everyday use all right we all want the biggest tv possible 
but sometimes because of space constraints or budget constraints, we have to pick the smaller one. Till now, most 32-inch TVs came with HD-ready panels and the viewing experience was compromised. But now, with full HD, you're gonna see so much more and it's miles better than any HD-ready TV. Above all, it's an Android TV. You get all the apps you want. Surely it doesn't have the latest Android TV version, but Android 9 will suffice. You don't lose out on anything. The 32-inch Full HD Realme TV is priced at 18,999. But there's a 1000 rupee early bird offer, you can buy this for 17,999 and that's a total steal. Now most HD ready 32 inch TVs are priced between 15 and 16,000 but for 3000 more you get a full HD TV, it's great. You can buy it on 29th of June at 12pm on realme.com and flipkart.com. I'll leave the links in the description, you should definitely check it out. So I hope this video was helpful, if there are any questions, feedback or complaints, mention it down in the comments, all are welcome. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.